from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, April the 14th, 2022. A group of Palestinians suspected of planning an imminent terror attack during the Passover holiday in Israel have been arrested. In a joint operation of Israel Police and Israel's security agency, the Shin Bet, four suspects were detained in two Arab towns, Silwad and Kobar, in the West Bank, and taken for questioning. During the arrest operation in Silwad, Clashes broke out with local Palestinians, and a Palestinian man was reported to have been shot and killed. Israel police said later today that officers are searching for a suspect who fled when security guards tried to question him near a shopping mall in the city of Hadera. A kitchen knife was found left behind at the scene. And a murder case in Jerusalem that has remained cold for over three years has been solved and now is classified as a terror attack. Police announced today that elderly couple Yehuda and Tamar Kaduri were killed in their apartment in the neighborhood of Armona Natsiv in January of 2019 by a Palestinian man with suspected ties to the Islamic State. The double murders were first investigated as terror, but then the investigation turned to a possible domestic incident. The case went unsolved until a few weeks ago when police arrested the 34-year-old Palestinian from Hebron when he was found with a knife, and during questioning it was found that he was responsible for the Kaduri's murder, as well as for the murder of a foreign worker from Moldova this past March, also in Jerusalem. Israel's Ministry of Defense shared today that it successfully tested a new laser-based defense system that was able to intercept drones, rockets, and anti-tank missiles in what Defense Minister Benny Gantz called an international achievement. The new system was tested in the Negev Desert this March with successful results. The powerful laser system was developed by Mapat and Rafael Blue and White Industries and can intercept targets from miles away. It is being hailed as a game changer, providing Israel with another critical layer of defense. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris shared today that she spoke with Israel's President Isaac Herzog to extend Passover greetings. And she wrote this morning, I expressed condolences over Israeli deaths from recent terrorist attacks. Our support for Israel's security and self-defense is unwavering. Herzog's office was cited thanking the U.S. administration for the condolences and support, noting that it is especially significant and important coming from the state of Israel's greatest ally. A virtual People's Seder is set for tonight at the White House with Harris and Second Gentleman Doug Emhoff leading the virtual event, which will include pre-recorded remarks by President Biden and First Lady Jill Biden, among others. Well, New York's kosher food pantry network, Mazbia, is once again making sure that those in need can also celebrate the Passover holiday through its annual Haroset Drive, providing families in need with items to make their own Seder and kosher for Passover meals. Mazbia Executive Director Alexander Rappaport told JBS Today, with the help of DoorDash, we were able to deliver over 50,000 boxes of kosher for Passover food, our job was fundraising for the food they paid their drivers to deliver to the clients. Masbia will also serve 4,000 ready-to-eat meals during Passover for those unable to prepare food for themselves. This, of course, in addition to the meals they serve people in need all year long. And a reminder for you that JBS will be airing Passover services and Passover seders from Central Synagogue and from the Hampton Synagogue beginning tomorrow, Friday evening, 6 p.m. Eastern. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, April the 14th. At 7 o'clock, it's Talmud Study. At 7.30, Jonathan Tobin speaks to journalist Ben Weingarten about Ukraine, Iran, and the U.S. When's the matzo ball soup coming out? Yeah, Grandma, I love your matzo balls. At 8.30, it's the film Passover at the Wellmans. At 10, a look at Jonathan Safran Foer's New American Haggadah. And coming up next, it's Good Week Israel. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, April the 14th, 2022. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well. 
Happy Passover, Chag Sameach.